Good morning. Oh, I spent half the night sleeping in the footwells. I woke up to, um, I don't know, it must have been about four or five in the morning. And there's a clip now on the camera uh, that's about eight gig in size. Um, yeah, crawled back in here in the end and just carried on on the sofa. <coughs> oh, really not set up for the day now. I feel like arse, but there's lots to do. So I'm going to have my morning coffee and um, pick up where I left off, whatever I was doing last night, I can't even remember. Before I'd conked down and spent half the night sleeping in the footwells, I'd actually got what I needed done. So this morning's job was to fit out the rest of the engine bay now it's painted. Things like this glow plug relay, rearrange some wires and just some little faffy bits in anticipation for the new engine fit, which we were doing today. Since pulling out of the donor van and sticking it in a container, that's basically where it stayed ever since. So I needed a fair bit of TLC and a good look over before we brought it in. Slap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't want that in there. <laughs> Hold on in there, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. No, you don't see that every day, do you? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you dare. This is something I need to look into. The, I think the stiffness in the gears is to do with some here. I've got I don't somewhere know. Um, a load of grease. Or have you? So once we've degreased it, we'll regrease it. We'll re yeah, it's just mainly the bottom on the sump and that where it, you can see it's crystallised, the salt. I mean, it just brushes off actually, it should be alright, but get this on it and then give it a good brush around. That's still original paint. <gasps> yeah, man. Original engine paint, how about that? It's flaking here. All I'm going to do is hammer right this, this bottom area, I think. Yeah, yeah. Retouch it in that area, I can leave. Is a new engine. It, yeah. Where's the engine number? Can you find it on your other one? It's on, the guy told me it's on the dipstick, of all things. Yeah. So we'll have to have a look at that later. There's just part numbers everywhere and they all start with A. A some bullshit. Yeah. I've been sort of umming and ah in my decision. Like, well, you know, my engine, I don't really know a lot about it, but it's been good. But I think this is just, it, is better. it needs to go on, doesn't it, really? Fuming as well, I thought I'd lost that clutch clip. Guess how much they are to replace? Oh, ridiculous money. 20 pounds. Main dealer only. Oh, look at that. Oh. I'm, I didn't even think to look, actually, for the, uh, di the dipstick. Oh, I found it. Oh, you got it? Well, I'll find where the dipstick goes in. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to be careful then, because I don't obviously can't have water going in that. Well, I've got my finger in it. Oh, have you a nice one? Any other orifices that can't have I've water? Got your turbo covered. I think I'm gonna swap that as well. To be fair. Yeah. That should be. Yeah, that one leaks really bad, and the van was so down on power. I think the turbo's gone on it. Avoid the electricals. Oh, sorry, mate. My bad. <laughs> That's just... The main thing is, the salt's off. Yeah. With the engine now scrubbed up and shedded of its salt, oil and road muck, we could now bring it in and start pulling that gearbox off to see what the clutch is saying. We're also going to give it a good check over, whip off items like the alternator and turbo, because these things are just asking to be smacked off my fresh paint on the way in. And we're swapping a lot of these auxiliary bits over anyway. So whilst the engine's just here floating around, we're going to make life easier for ourselves and do it all here. Are we brakes in yet? Yeah, go for it. The engine will move. Oh, my paint. There we go. It's got me this side. 
Yeah, that's it. But yeah, ready? Oh, mate, it's brand new. <laughs> Still got the bloody markings all over it. Yeah. God, this is so much easier than the last time I did this job. We all replaced the rolls. And we never had a problem. No. I get it when it's like the really long ones that go through an engine to the bottom. Yeah. Stretch bolts? Yeah. Fair enough. Fuck them. But they're on rollers. And then, yeah. Honestly, <laughs> you know, the engine ain't the biggest problem. No. This thing was just flying apart. Not one bolt put up a fight. Is she coming? She's coming slowly. Okay, she goes, bang! Yeah. To be fair, someone did do a burnout in her. Yeah, what idiot did that? That's probably what that scoring is. There she goes. Oh, look saying? at that. What she's she saying about 50,000 miles? That's genuine, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. Yep, proper Mercedes part number. And yeah, the flywheel's good. That's nice. Without hardly any that perfect movement. That's not even been driven hard because that isn't all rainbow colours. No, until I got it. It's just the they've just started to go off the Yeah yeah. It's the wear marks. Wow. Mental. Well, you're allowed down to the rivets. So you've got loads there. Just keep it as a spare, I suppose. Do you know, I would. Yeah. What it is, weight-wise, space-wise, nothing, is it? No. Nah. It must be a nice feeling, though, to know you actually got what you were sold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a shame I didn't get to meet them, actually. Oh, he did it again. Even with the blue. Even with the blue. Yeah, it could have gone very wrong, considering I just took the guy for his word. He was like, oh, uh, my dad sort of watches your videos avidly and was like, oh, this might help him, see if he wants it. And he was like, yeah, it's got this, it's got that. And he sent me videos, and he sent me all the sort of mileage of it, all the paperwork. You know, sometimes you have a bit of faith, don't you? Yeah. This is going to need a little tap if I hold it lined up. A little tap? A little tap here, here, here. Oh, to get that on. Get that on. So I've got a little rubber mallet. As we were sifting through the innards of the gearbox, Jeff popped in after a long shift of sandblasting. Having done a brief sandblasting session myself on some of my parts a few weeks back, it baffled me how he could stay in that booth for so long. <laughs> I can't get over how um, much it gets your shoulders. Yeah. Just doing my parts that time, I, was, I ached that night. It's worth it, it's nice laid on your back, trying to hold your head up with that helmet on. Yeah. Brace yourself off the ground with one arm and hold the lamp with another arm. Yeah. Is there supposed to be oil in here? It might be a little bit secret from the release bearing. Oh, of course, yeah. It's <laughs> all dry. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> when I was doing that, everyone I spoke to about it. Make sure you do the crank seal. Make sure you do the crank seal. Did I do the crank seal? Did I? Sometimes you can fiddle with things that aren't broken. Yeah, and, and break, break them. them. Yeah. Every now and then you'll hear my ratchet go click. Oh, yeah, yeah. I threw in about my bloody flywheel. Maybe got the same people. Yeah, they're both. Yeah, the Al UK do all the Mercedes ones. But they're all on the But it's Al UK, so, you know, I got the wrong clutch four times last time. That was funny, I had to call, end up calling all these places up. The place I bought it from, we're like, you try fitting it, with out of our hands now, you're done. I was like, it cost me 700 and something pounds, because I did the flywheel as well. And everyone was just doing that with me. I was like, no, it was my last 700 pounds. I've got no money. I'm on f***ing super noodles. I was going militant. End up calling Al UK Direct. I was like, right, here's my part number. You take them down and you're going to tell me if this is the right kit. And the guy was on the phone. He's like, no, no. So the flywheel and the... Um, pressure plate are, uh, they shouldn't even be in the same kit or like, like that. I was like, right, well, it's just come direct from Al UK, like it's in the box. It would have come like from you guys, so what are you gonna do about it? And he's like, uh oh. <laughs> like, he was ready just to be like, no, that's your, there's someone else's problem, there you go. I was like, ah, no, got ya. Yeah, this is the same sort of spare as what I fitted on my van, but this one has been built this year, is completely different. I mean, they know that these are absolutely shite. 
I'm going to change the design. Where's that nut I rage quitted away? <laughs> I'm going to say... It's going to happen. Everything could happen. Let's go. Get this Before long, the clutch and pressure plate were swapped. The bell housing was cleaned out and had a fresh thrust bearing. With some final checks, it was time to remarry the gearbox to the engine. Side to side jiggle. Ah, pull out a sec. Machine give or out of gear? I don't know. I've been fing around with it to be yeah, honest. There you go. Just loosening them up, you know. Ideally. Right. That's if you can neutral, find any yeah. gear, what do you want first? Any gear, yeah. That's yeah. You can spin it to line it up. Yes. Yeah. Good call. It's looking good. Oh, oh. Uh, need to get it down a bit, the top bit. Down the end a bit. Oh, oh is, that, is that good on? You have a... That will, that will go on. Good duck. That's on. Where the f have I got any gold and stuff coming in? Fucking arse on TV again, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> John's ass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One day someone will say it's a nice ass. <laughs> Just make sure it don't say any lines, we'll have to pay it. So, oh, yeah. And this. <laughs> this thing's got a bit of a tendency to go creeping down my leg. Oh, right. Where you gone? <laughs> can get here. It turned itself off. Yeah, carry on. I honestly thought that was going to be a mission. What skills? You just didn't know it. Uh, well, no, just you arrived. <laughs> if it was just me, I'd have just been here like. <laughs> oh, a job doing on your own is a bitch. A job doing it with someone, and you can bounce ideas, yeah. and when one's getting stressed, another can take over. Yeah, yeah. It makes it so much easier. No, it's, it's lined up, it's gone in. Yeah, so the problem we have with the last one is because the computer dictates mm. the clutch. It was the computer like, wait, hang on, this isn't right, and it was reading those, you know, the adjustment springs? Yeah. It was reading them like, well, it's new, but it's not, so, and then it was just going into an absolute meltdown. Yeah, it adjusts how much it pulls the clutch yeah. away by how much it's thinking it's worn and it's still engaged. So it was, yeah. And it was self-teaching. I had to take it in once to get re-taught what it was. Like you're a f***ing gearbox. That's yeah. the only job you've got. Why am I having to pay 100 quid to get you retaught? Piece of shit. Like I said, I sort of said to myself, when this starts to die, go older, getting old. Old Mercedes, mechanical, mm. one big positive on the engine, and that's all you need. That's what I want eventually, but I apparently I'm not ready to say goodbye to it yet. Like a Mate, if this doesn't do you for many, many more years, I'll be shocked. I think if I could get another four out of it and one big trip. If I absolutely biff it on one big trip, then fine. But if it'll do the trip, get back to the land. Yeah. And then be, you know, startable. I'll be happy. Mm. Well, that's but it. I do. So, are you going to remap it if it seems a bit down on power? Absolutely, I am. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that it had a map, which mm. I've lost. So, yeah. But I mean, I don't think there's a lot of difference between uh, an off-the-shelf map and the. Uh, you can only map an engine to an amount, can't you? So the 2.7 will have a limit. So I'll take it to the limit. Mm. Ah, I know a thing I was supposed to. It's in my fucking eBay cart and it's not here. The uh, gasket kit. For the turbo. Yeah. Shit. Well, we can get it off 
making it easier to get the new one in when it's in, I suppose. And it's something else, it's not sticking out for when we're going yeah, to put it in. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I have to order the gaskets up for another time. So that's that. Uh, there's the belt, which is, again, it can be done there or it can be done there. Doesn't really yeah, make a difference. Anything else linkage wise, you want to look at clean up WD 40 maybe? Good point. Yeah. Um, these, so the source of the stiff gear change. I'm thinking is this slide over. That goes like that. Oh, no, hang on. Goes like that. And I'm not sure if that needs gearbox oil or if that's just oil oil. But it has started no, to come up. Put any oil on that. This will be the thing that stiffens it up. It's all shit off the road. Yeah. So I've got a load of a pot of grease somewhere. Where's it gone? Selecting gears in the donor van was really difficult. The side to side action was super stiff. Since pulling it apart, it's not the gear stick or the linkages, so it has to be this slider on the gearbox side. So we're gonna blow out as best we can, glob it up with grease to loosen it up and then clean any excess off so future road dirt doesn't stick straight back in there. With help once again from John, we were flying through the jobs. So in about a third of the time I was expecting, the engine was almost ready. Last thing to do was to whip the turbo off real quick and we were going for the engine fit. Pulling an engine out is one thing, we've done that twice. Putting an engine back in, especially with a forklift that could easily go through your windscreen. Different ball game. It was putting up a fight, when one thing freed up it just got caught on something else. The gearbox being the worst, it either wanted to hit the tunnel or the cross member that it's supposed to sit on. Ow. After multiple filming issues, SD card errors, batteries going flat, camera errors, one getting sent across the room, I retrieved the Hoond camera and got it going just in time to catch us slotting the engine into place. Cool. But there was a problem, quite a big one. It's not in here, because we're still pretty far back here. The prop shaft is not here. Mm. But this isn't in either. Yeah. We might have an issue there then. Oh, shit. Okay, it's a little bit of having a bit fabricated. Yeah, but, yeah. We'll get it done. But that is cheaper than changing the prop and everything. Yeah. If it was me right now, what I would do, suggestion, because it's your puppy, get the two front engine mounts bolted in. Yeah. Brace, get it secure. Get the timber underneath the back here to brace that up and then this can all be addressed yeah. tomorrow at a later day. Yeah, I think get it's... Get on with the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right? That's it. Like that. Oh! Oh! Ooh, sexy fish. Mm. We got the engine mounts in place to make sure the engine was secure and called it a day. There were some big headaches afoot with the prop shaft and cross member, but nothing that could be done tonight, and I wasn't going to let it take away from the fact that tonight was a win. My van, once again, has an engine. Cheers, gents. <laughs> we just left it on the pallet because we just stood around in the beer and just. Yeah, to be fair, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's definitely in.